Welcome to Enrollment Encore. What you need to know before open enrollment in the health laws marketplaces begins again on November 15th. I'm Mary Agnes Carey. Jordan Rao, who's a senior correspondent with Kaiser Health News, joins me now to talk about how the health law is using Medicare to improve health care quality. Jordan, you've written a lot about how hospitals have been the focus on this. Let's talk first about the effort to avoid readmissions to hospitals. Um, this is the third year that hospitals uh, face the possibility of losing money from Medicare payments because they have too many patients return within 30 days of readmission. And so there's a lot more focus within these hospitals to make sure that when the patients leave, uh, when they're discharged, that uh, they don't just go out and if they don't have doctors or don't have any medical oversight, that their health deteriorates. So it's likely that some of the hospitals that are putting the most effort into this will be sending nurses to uh, the homes of patients to uh, go through the medications, make sure that they're taking the right things, check on their health. And uh, the hospitals, about two thirds of them are being penalized from this this year, so it's a high priority. There's also a focus to reduce hospital acquired infections. What's happening there? Well, this is the first year that a quarter of the nation's hospitals are going to lose 1% of their Medicare payments because too many of their patients contracted infections. Uh, now, there's six types of infections that uh, Medicare is looking at, including uh, infections that occurred during hysterectomies and colon surgeries, as well as two very, very nasty um, antibiotic-resistant bugs, MRSA and C. diff. So hospitals are going to be, for some of these, they have some pretty good ideas about how to avoid them. And for others, it's, it's a real struggle. But hospitals will be putting a lot more attention on these measures and on avoiding infections. And there's also an effort to improve patient satisfaction. Right. This is uh, the third year that hospitals can get a bonus or lose money based in part on uh, how well they score on these surveys that are sent to patients after they leave. And these surveys ask questions like, uh, did your doctor communicate well? Did the nurse communicate well? Was your pain handled well? And so a lot of hospitals have gone to the extent of actually teaching, giving uh, scripts to doctors and nurses to communicate better. Thank you so much. Jordan Rao with Kaiser Health News.